Hello everyone, Dave Landry here from DaveLandry.com. Today we're going to talk about setting up your computers and your office for trading. Now a little bit about my style of trading so you understand where I'm coming from and the way I run my business. First of all, I'm a swing to intermediate term trader and that means that I hold positions for a period of days to hopefully months or even years. So my execution is not that crucial. I'm not in and out all day long. So I don't really need a lot of screens and I really don't need a super high-end computer to do that type of trading. Now, the reason I do have a lot of screens is one, I'm a market junkie. I like watching a lot of different markets. I like seeing what's going on in Forex market. I like to see what's going on in indices. I like to have a quote screen up with a lot of stocks that I may be watching on. And just keep a loose eye on those. I'm not really staring at them all day long, but I like to have them up so I can take a look at them at a glance. Also occasionally I'll consult and in, in that consulting business it will require me to have one monitor dedicated to that particular market. For instance, I was with a bond fund as a chief technical analyst for over 10 years and during that time, that entire time I had one monitor and that was just dedicated to bonds. Now here's my layout. I have three computers and I have six monitors total. Now the first question that might come to mind is why not just have one big powerful computer? And the problem with that is you have all your eggs in one basket. I know some people have some beautiful setups, some setups that are just phenomenal, but they also have a laptop off in the corner. I'm like, well, what's that for? And it's like, well, every now and then the card goes out, or this, if the computer goes down, I go sit over there in the laptop. Whereas with my system, something happens, I still have four screens up and running at all times. If you do buy that big computer to drive those monitors, it's going to require a tremendous amount of horsepower. It's going to be very, very expensive. And the hardware is going to become dated really quick. So three years from now, what you thought was a super high-end computer, very expensive computer, is now low-end as far as processing is concerned. So the advantage that I have running three computers is, number one, which I just said, redundancy. Number two, I replace a computer well, once every one or two years, depending on, on whether one needs replacing or not. But I do like to put a new one in, let's say every one or two years. And in doing that, I almost always have a new computer and I always have that newer technology without chasing that technology. And my equipment doesn't become dated all at once. Let's say you run out and you buy that very expensive computer, running all your monitors, looks gee whiz, looks fantastic. And then three years from now, you decide, well, this computer's really getting old. I need to replace it. So now you got a big capital outlay once again. Now there's some disadvantages to running three computers obviously. I can only put two monitors on one computer although I have been testing it. It works out pretty nicely so far and I'm probably going to incorporate it to my setup. I have a 60 inch TV in my office that I'm not using for watching TV because I don't believe in watching the market news. What I do with that though is I've got it clicked in to one of my computers or plugged into one of my computers I should say and I use it as a third monitor. So as a, as a general statement, if you only have two DVI ports coming out of your computer, then obviously you can only run two monitors at a time. And every now and then you might want that third monitor to pull a chart around or pull some quotes over or something. So that is a disadvantage. Um, there are some additional software costs, obviously three times the software. The good news is uh, if you're only using one package at a time on one computer, some of the software companies have become a little bit more lenient with that. So you can uh, get by with just buying one package. Also quote feeds are free. Uh, provided you pay your monthly bill and brokerages are free so you can just download your broker software to whatever or ideally all three computers. Um, one disadvantage I guess is that I always have an old computer so one of my computers is always at least three years old but I can live with that. I just move the lower end processing over to that computer and do my higher end processing on a new computer. There's some questions about power consumption. I think it's probably negligible if you're running a very big high-end computer it's probably going to burn a lot more juice, or as as much juice, I should say, electricity, as the other three computers. So I think it's going to be very negligible on that. Now, uh, what's on the monitors? I have uh, two stock monitors right here. Uh, this one is shorter term, uh, a shorter term chart, and this one's a longer term chart. They're, they flip simultaneously. So if I'm looking at the short term chart and I like what I see, I glance over to this monitor and I see if. Um, and see if I like what I see also on a longer term charts. Uh, I dedicate one monitor usually just to quotes and in that I'll have some indices, I might have gold um, and a couple other things on that. Maybe have a monitor just for Forex also if I'm watching the currencies. Um, 
what else is what else do I have? Uh, sometimes I'll do some research or something. I'll I'll have that up on one particular monitor. And then again, if I'm watching a specialty market or ETFs or whatever the case may be for a fund, then I'll have that up on one particular monitor. Also, there's other things you use your computer for, obviously, such as emails, internet browsing, etc. So I'll use one of those monitors for that at some point in time. So they're all interchangeable. In fact, obviously, I can't have all that up at one time, but I have most of that up at any given time with six monitors. Now, as far as hardware, I'm not going to talk about specific hardware because as soon as I do, you're going to watch this video three weeks from now or three months from now, and that's going to be a dated conversation. So what I like to buy is kind of middle of the road PCs at uh, middle to low end, I guess you'd say, about $1,000 or so per PC. And it seems like each year that $1,000 buys more and more computing power. And again, that's the advantage of a new computer each year. So instead of spending $10,000 on a very powerful computer each year, I'm buying a new computer at about a grand a year. Um, each one, uh, by the way, do not chase technology. Don't buy the biggest, highest end computer you can. I bought a laptop a couple years ago, paid several thousand dollars for it, just sold it, got like 60 bucks for it. If I'd have known, I thought I'd get at least a few hundred dollars. If I'd have known it was going that cheap, I would have given it to charity. Uh, so don't chase technology because as soon as you buy the hardware, it's going to decrease in value very quickly. I'd rather just buy a new computer each year and always have that new technology as opposed to chase technology and then in a few years you have, again, a low-end computer. Each, each um, computer has a DVI out, uh, two DVI out card. Buy your card separate from your PC. Uh, as a general state, but last time I did it, just based on my experience, last time I bought a PC, they told me it had two outs, but it was the card out or it was the motherboard out. You couldn't run two simultaneously, so it didn't do me any good, so I ended up having to buy a card. As far as a card cost, you don't have to chase technology there either. Uh, my cards usually cost $100 or less. Um, I like the, the, the NVIDIA, I guess it's called the engine, and GeForce is the brand. Um, again, I'm not going to give you a model number because as soon as I do, it's going to be outdated. But I like the ones that have uh, the built-in fans on them because those cards get fairly hot. And uh, make sure you have enough memory on that card, as much as comes with the card for, uh, like I said, uh, about $100 or less. That's probably a couple of gigs of video memory, at least, on that. Uh, my monitors are as big as will fit on my stands. The two in the middle here are 23 inch and the outside ones are around 20 inch or so each. Um, let's talk about ergonomics for a minute. Ergonomics are very important in this business. I was uh, sitting probably about 12 hours a day and it was really beginning to take its toll on my body. I was getting uh, becoming much older than I than, uh than I am uh, in, in physical years and I realized I had to do something so I bought a stand-up desk and the one I bought was the up desk from the human solution I did a lot of research and I needed a desk that would be big enough for all my monitors and number two would be strong enough to lift all of that weight so I think uh, my model is rated for about 300 pounds um, I'm not getting any compensation if you run out and buy one of these but I will contact the company so you might see that I'm an affiliate at some point in time uh, if you're watching this video. Uh, big fan of it. I love my desk. Probably the best investment that I made in my office. It, I can lower it or raise it to any height I want. I've got three presets that I set. One for, to sit, one to stand, and one to saddle. Now what that means is in the morning I come in with a big cup of coffee about 5.30. I'm half awake. Put the coffee down. I just like to sit and I like to relax, so to speak, and plan my day out, see what's going on, nice quiet time, kind of relaxing. As I begin to wake up, I like to move to a standing position, and that's when I finish up my morning writing, uh, the, my column, my newsletter, and then I also do the market in a minute. I like to stand up so I can project out some enthusiasm when I do the market in a minute. So I'll stand for uh, another hour or so, and then what I'll do is I'll end up moving to a saddle seat. Now, a saddle seat is uh, just as, it's, um, as I... Um, as it sounds, it's a saddle type of stool. And the one I have is not very comfortable. I thought about buying a new one, but I decided that the fact that it wasn't comfortable, that it just after a while, I just have to get up and move around. So it forces me to move a little bit. And at some point, I usually get disgusted with it. And then I will um, end up standing up and uh, standing up again for the rest of the day. So I try to keep moving throughout the day and only sit in an actual chair for an hour or so every morning. Now your monitors must be set up properly. 
Uh, as you, you know, if you do some Googling on YouTube, you'll see these beautiful monitors all jammed together, and it all looks great. And that's what I did at first, and I thought I was cool. You know, took some selfies in front of me in the monitor, threw them up on Facebook or whatever. And then I realized that I started having some really bad neck problems because if you're stacking your monitor, one is going to be too low at all times and one's going to be too high. It's very hard to get them just right. So I did a little research, found out that putting two horizontal in the middle worked best for me. Now, do your own research and find out what works for you. But I found that if I keep them right at eye level with the top of the monitor, and then this actually made a big difference too. If I tilt them back a little bit away from me like, a, like this, just a little bit, that seemed to help tremendously. And then I kind of angled them in a little bit. Uh, my neck problems went away uh, almost overnight once I did that. What I would encourage you to do though is do most of your work on these center monitors with them fl uh, horizontal like this. And then just use the ancillary monitors for information to monitor things so to speak. Uh, recently I started doing these videos like you're seeing today and uh, because the software was on the computer with one of the vertical monitors before you do it I started having neck problems again so I, I realized hey dummy move back to those horizontal monitors if you're going to do a lot of work more than let's say five minutes worth of work on any given uh, monitor. My monitor stands or Tykes stands, I'm a big fan of these stands. Uh, you can pay a lot more money for stands and get a lot worse stand. Uh, these are they're nicely heavily weighted on the bottom. The monitor balances nicely on top. I have bumped them before and not knocked them over. Again, I'm not getting any compensation from Tykes, but um, I'll give them a call and see if they'll make me an affiliate because uh, I believe in them and I, I just absolutely love them. Um, I found trackballs work best for me. I find I was getting some uh, wrist issues uh, with, uh, with a mouse. For some reason, a trackball works for me. So you might want to figure out what's, what works best for you. And of course, use wrist pads under your wrist. That helps out a lot. Now, this is, this is what works for me. Your mileage may vary. If you want more information, go to DaveLandry.com. I answer all my emails. My email address is Dave at DaveLandry.com. If you have any comments, put a, comments to uh, put them down here. And uh, any questions, again, shoot me an email and I will answer all my emails. Thank you so much and happy trading.